Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, boys and girls, this is the comprehensive guide to SPI's quote unquote benchmark balls. As you can see our lineup down here, we've got the Optimum Idol, we've got the Ion Pro, we've got the Phase 2, and we've got the newcomer, the brand new Summit Ascent. Now this is a guide on how to choose which one is the best for you, but it's also kind of a review on this new Summit Ascent, and I'm gonna tell you where each ball lands compared to one another, all right? Should we start with the new ball or should we start like a top to bottom type deal, Jalen? Top. top to bottom, so I'm gonna take you top to bottom, which one should be your strongest? Strongest meaning earliest, always read the lane front to back. Bowling makes a lot more sense that way. So we're gonna start with the strongest one, the top, which is gonna be your optimum idle solid right so all these balls have different layouts admittedly um, they're all drilled at different times they're all drilled for different purposes and i just have no sense of consistency in my life optimum idle a ball that i enjoy a lot because it is very early very smooth because it has that micro tracks cover on it so this is the full nano cover stock the strongest cover stock that we have and it's going to be the strongest one out of these four balls so someone that's maybe a little bit higher ball speed or if you are a tournament bowler looking for kind of that first ball out of your bag type deal, this is the one that you're gonna be looking for. So it's gonna be the strongest ball other than the asymmetrics. So if you want that early hook, blowing on a heavy oil in the front part of the lane, but you still need that continuation down lane, this is the one for you. I'm gonna throw it because I really like throwing this ball. Always been an idle guy, always will be. It's just got that shape that I like. It's got that combination of, it's slow, obviously, because it's an idle, um, early, slow, and it gets going forward just enough to make me feel like I can get aggressive with my hand at the bottom. Now, if you are a longtime serious tournament bowler and you've thrown SPI a lot, you may have figured out that you're either an idle guy or you're a phase two guy. Personally, I'm an idle guy. Christopher, on the other hand, it's always been more of a phase two guy, but we both throw both of them. But just for what we each like to do to the bowling ball, the kind of a hand adjustments we like to make, the kind of shape we like to see on the lane, um, we just have our preferences. But this here is the next one up in the strength category. You got your TX16 TX cover stock, um, the old tried and true phase two, low RG, high diff, um, but it's gonna be a, a titch cleaner than the Optimum Idol because of that cover and a little less diff. I'm gonna stand in the same exact spot, likely not gonna throw it in the same spot because I'm not a shot maker, I'm a shot creator. That's yeah, not bad. As you can see there, relatively same spot, didn't quite pick up as early. There's a bit of carry down on this lane. Um, not a fresh house shot, I wish it was, but it's not. What are you gonna do? And it's Tupin. Kind of expected that to happen with this ball specifically because it's gonna kind of land in the middle between this or in between the optimum idle, which picked up early enough to pick up traction to get there, go forward. And the other two, which are gonna be a little bit weaker, and they could retain enough energy to come back off of that spot. But we're gonna move on to the next one, probably the one you clicked on this video for, the Summit Ascent. Now, this ball is the one that we've been waiting for. This has just got what you need, right? So we've got the same Summit core in there, AI technology, super low RG, super high diff, but they have decided to make the wise decision to wrap it with a very, very mild cover stock, just R2S solid. Something we haven't seen in a while from our master line balls. Now, why that is important is because when you get to a situation like this, you go to a house that maybe has HPLs, AMF lane services, a little bit softer, the weaker cover stock is gonna help this ball get down the lane, but you're just gonna still get the characteristics of that benchmark type ball, right? It's gonna read the middle part of the lane, not be too responsive down lane. So this one I think has the most application for the most house bowlers as well as tournament bowlers. It is also, in my opinion, gonna have a greater window of hookability. You can move a little further left with this ball because it's gonna retain a little more because it has that weaker 
blend, but I probably wouldn't throw it as early in the block. Hookability isn't even a word. That's TV Bowling Supply TV patented. Jargon. TV BS jargon, but we're gonna stay in the same spot for all these balls. That's a little left. That was a little bit of user error, but as you can see, definitely cleaner than the Optimum Idol. Visually a similar shape to the Phase 2. Also, probably doesn't help that this Phase 2 is lane-shined like crazy. But I'm gonna throw another one here. Try and throw a little bit softer. Throw a little softer, feed it to the friction of hair. Or a lot. <laughs> These lanes aren't fresh, like I said, but um, we're gonna try that again. I'd say that was more the lanes than the, than the hand position. Here we go, take three. There we go. It's kind of funny, because I feel like this ball doesn't throw the pretty, pretty strikes, doesn't feel like it pile drives the eight pin, throws the big messengers, but, it just knocks them all down. And as you can see, it's a very smooth transition even when I do feed it to the friction. It's just a ball that you're gonna need. I'm not trying to sound like a salesman, but I kinda am. It's a kind of ball that we haven't had in a long time. Um, think original Marvel. That's what that ball's gonna be like. So it's gonna have that ability to keep the ball in front of you, smoother transition, and if you're good with your adjustments, your versatility, you can throw a little slower. You can throw this ball for a long time as you move across the lane, but we're gonna move to our last guy here, the cleanest one of them all, Ion Pro, right? So this has the TX blend, just like the Phase 2, but it's a hybrid, but the one that has the biggest difference in the core. So this has that Element AI core, lower diff, it's in like the 30s, 35 or something like that, but it's got ASIM. You can't see it on my ball, because I drilled it out. It's right there. So this one's gonna be the tightest playing. It's gonna be the cleanest of them all. It's probably gonna be the best for when the front's hook on you, or if you wanna just try and play straight. Again, stay in the same spot, throw it somewhere. And I get to that same spot as the Summon Ascent, but it's gonna try and continue a little bit more because it's got that lower diff. And I'll show you when the ball comes back. That ball, that ball flares mega tight. Kind of all these balls have oil lines on them. You can see big flare, medium big flare. This one's got a really weak pin on it though. Pretty good amount of flare. And then very tight there, as you can see. So that's the biggest difference you're gonna get from the Ion Pro. You get the biggest core difference in the Ion Pro because Optimum Idol, 248, 247, super low RG, super high diff, phase two, 249, I think, 052. So lower RG, high diff, some of the scent, 246, 056 or something like that. So mega low RG, high diff, Ion Pro, 247, low RG again, but 035 with 14 ASIM, all in 15 pounds, obviously. So there's a wide selection out there. It can be overwhelming. You walk into TV Bowling Supply, right? You look to that wall, you go, wow, that's a lot of balls. How do I know which one to get? Well, you're gonna turn to your left. You're gonna see me behind the front desk. You're gonna say, hey, Mike, I need a benchmark ball. How do I know which one's right for me? I say, you have your bowling stuff? You say, yeah, it's in my trunk. Let's go watch you throw a couple, and then we can make the best determination from there. And from there, I can specially tailor and cater to your needs. Do you need Optimum Idol? Do you need Summit Ascent? Do you need Ion Pro? Do you need maybe two of these? I can definitely see two of these in the same bag. That being an Ion Pro and one of those three because of the big core difference. Oh, that's a terrible shot. Terrible shot, great result. That one's got the most back end, like I said, because it is the cleanest. So it is retaining the most energy and I think I'm also getting a little warmed up. Rev rate's going up a little bit. So we're gonna go back to the summit ascent, throw a couple, and then we're gonna close this thing out. And typically I would talk about the layouts, but like I said, 
They've all been laid out for different reasons at different times, different purposes. What's the layout on the Layout on the sum of the scent, you ask? Let's just say that. Five and a quarter with a two and three quarter buffer. Right up over there. Well, we're gonna move a little bit, see if we can get a little more energy retention. There we go. As you can see there, if you think your ball's not hooking, sometimes it's just hooking a little too early. So we're gonna move again, and I'm gonna show you guys that this ball has got hookability. It didn't re-rack. Jalen, how much should we move off that last one? Six. Six. So we're a little into the nosebleeds now. Don't know what number board I'm on. There you go. I think I was a good 10 left of where I left that 5.7 and where I threw that one strike. And as long as you can adjust your hand, adjust your speed, you can get this ball specifically to come around it because it has that combination of the weaker cover and the high diff core. But that is it, guys. That is our benchmark ball catalog there. I hope you guys learned something. I'm a little bit out of breath. I talk too much and don't breathe enough. But Summit Ascent is the brand new installation of a benchmark ball in our product line. Go into your local Storm VIP Pro Shop, specifically TV Bowl and Supply, and come talk to me, come talk to Jalen about the new Summit Ascent. It is the one that you're gonna want to at least try out and probably buy. But that's it, guys. Will it be at the demo? Will it be at the demo? You're oh. gonna have to come to the demo to find out. Yeah. August 22nd. Here at Holiday Lanes, TV Bowl and Supply has a storm matchmaker happening to where you can pay $20 to go try all of Storm's newest balls. And if you decide you want to buy a ball or two or three or five, those $20 will just go towards your purchase. So it's like you got to throw a bunch of balls for free. From six to nine. From six o'clock to nine o'clock in the PM. Also guys, we are encroaching on 40,000 subscribers. You already know, when we get there, we will give away a ball of choice to one lucky random subscriber. So please hit that subscribe button. And that is all I've got for you in this video. I'll see you in the next one.